Now, India has been the largest troop contributor to the United Nations mission since its inception. So far, India has taken part in well over 43 peacekeeping missions around the world. The Vion is on ground zero, exploring what it takes for the Indian Army personnel to serve in a foreign land. The Vion is the only channel covering the Indian peacekeeping troops in the Democratic Republic of Congo. challenging and uh, difficult task per se but the training that we get in our own army back in our country land the experiences that we have makes it very easy for the Indian peacekeepers to operate and work in Congo under the United Nations. Of course it has its own challenges of cultural differences, language barriers, the change in dynamics, the situation and the political turmoil, the frequency with which situation changes over here but we are one of the best forces under the United Nations missions, which is doing a very, very good job, a remarkable job that we are doing, and which is also widely recognized by the uh, the locals over here as well. Uh, Pranay, you know, uh, one thing I would like to ask you, how do you balance between the locals and the Congolese army? Because when it comes to uh, Congolese army, uh, they are not very professional, and locals have their own expectations from uh, UN. So how do you balance those uh, counter aspirations? training the army and maintaining the interest of the local community? Well, it is a very challenging task per se because as per the UN mandate, we are supposed to be helping the local army, the Congolese army with their training. We are also supposed to help them with a bit of operations per se. But, uh, you know, if we help them openly, then we also might be creating dissent among the local people. There might be armed groups which think that we are against them, you know, helping the local army. But then they, we have to strike a very fine balance where we have to respect the sentiments of the people, take care of the sentiments and at the same time help the Congolese army raise their standards so that they can take care of their own country themselves. But you know, the bottom line here is, look at the remoteness of this area. You know, Pranay, when, we, uh, when you operate here, when you come here, how does your uh, experience of the world, how does your experience of Indian military come to handy in Congo? Uh, in fact, uh, this question has been asked by a lot of uh, other nationals who are here under the UN flag with us and I always tell them that the experiences that we have in our country land, be it Kashmir, be it the north or the northeast, comes in very handy because we've handled situations like this, we handle locals like this, the welfare measures that we do, the kind of operation that we're doing, the kind of recce mission that we're doing even now are similar to what we've done back in our country land. So we are amongst the most experienced people to be here in Congo under the United Nations. So, you know, life is full of challenges and Major Pranay Kala is one of the faces of Indian military. He, like many others, symbolizes the exemplary rigor, professionalism and patriotism of Indian men or men in all in the true camera. The camera person Manish Shavastav Karthike Sharma from Congo for Vyond.